Hello and welcome to a new video about the magnetic field. I'm wearing again my t-shirt. Yeah? So it's time for a little Maxwell. Yeah? We already know three of our four Maxwell equations. Let's have a look. Huh? Here, this is Gauss's law yeah? for electric field. This is Gauss's law for for a magnetic field. And the the bottom one here, this was the Ampere Maxwell, yeah? Ampere Maxwell's law. Yeah? And what is missing is the third line here. The third line is the law of induction. Very important effect, yeah? because without induction we would not be able to use electricity. So I'm going to explain this now. Yeah? What is what is this law of induction? Right, so do you remember Gustav Kirchhoff yeah, and his laws? There was this loop law where I said, okay, this is only valid as long as there are no magnetic fields. Now we're talking about magnetic fields, so we will extend this loop now. now. Let's draw a loop. Yeah. So we have here a voltage source. We might have here some resistors. We have an R1, we have an R2. Then we have our voltages, U0, U1, U2, we have a current here, of course, where a voltage, there is a current, I. This was a typical loop, right? So, what is the, the loop? Loop law, Kirchhoff, so loop, loop law. Huh? We said, the sum of all UIs inside a loop is zero volts. So in this case, this would be U0 minus U2 minus U1 is zero volts. This was the loop law. And now we make our, our extension. Okay? We make our extension, we say here, this direction, through the loop, through the loop, we have a magnetic flux. It's a linked magnetic flux through a loop. Right? This is already suspicious. If there is somewhere a magnetic field, somewhere a magnetic field, then uh, this is no longer valid. Yeah. So here, in case of magnetic field. We have to substitute this. We have to substitute this and the substitution is the sum of all ui is minus the change rate of the linked flux over the time. Mind the minus. Yeah? Mind the minus. Right hand, right hand, uh, right screw, right hand, right helix, yeah? right hand helix. Uh, this is important. Yeah? This is important so that this is going in this direction. This direction is the, is, so, once this is getting lower, yeah, we will have magnetic field in this direction, a voltage in this direction. This is the law of induction. And actually, this is also what is written here. Yeah? Here we have the change rate 
and this is the local representation of the of the of the flux. It's the flux density, negative change rate. You see this minus, yeah. And this here, this here is the vortex density uh, of our electric field. So how how drivey, the, how how vortexy this is there. Yeah? This is exact. This is the this is university mathematics, yeah. And this is our our version. Yeah? This is for microscopic and this is our microscopic effect. Yeah? Yeah. So once we have a change rate of a magnetic flux, we do not have zero voltage, we have additional voltage. Okay? Like said, mind the minus, right hand screw is very important in this matter, that we know in which direction the, the additional voltage is summing up. All right? So, this is the law of induction. Write this in. Law of induction. So you see, in case of magnetic field, is not entirely correct because if there are stationary magnetic field, then it does not really matter. Okay. So the loop law is then replaced by the law of induction or extended, let's call it extended. And so we have a change rate of a magnetic flux. Where can this change come from? Yeah. So the change, change rate of the magnetic field may have different causes. What causes can there be? Yeah. One cause is the current, the, the current in the coil itself. One possibility. So if this, if this current here is changing over time, if this is not a fixed value, if this is changing, then this current will produce a, a magnetic field. And if the current is changing, the magnetic field is changing. And so it is influencing itself. All right. So this is self-induction. self-induction. Another possibility would be other currents. Huh? Other currents. It must not be the current inside my loop. It can be a current outside. This is happening in, in insta, for instance, when you're charging your phone, wireless charging your phones. Uh, then there is a current, uh, and your phone, in your phone, there is voltage inducted, hmm? or uh, induction heating, heating by induction, yeah? on the place a uh, pot on your induction field, and this will heat, the pot will heat up. And there is just a changing magnetic field, which is produced by a current inside the induction field. And then in the bottom of your pot, there is current running and this is getting hot. Or toothbrush, electric toothbrush, also charged uh, by, by induction. Yeah? So other currents. And then there might be, there might be permanent magnets. Permanent magnets, those are, uh, well, if I have a permanent magnet, yeah, hmm, permanent magnet, and I'm passing this permanent magnet over my loop the whole time, 
then inside this loop there is a changed magnetic flux, uh, changed magnetic field, because now it's there, now it's not, now it's there, now it's not, now it's there, now it's not, and I'm, I am introducing here voltage. Uh, some generators work that way. Uh, permanent, permanent excited generators, permanent with permanent magnets. This is the usual way also how to produce energy. You use the law of induction. Okay? In the next videos, we will talk about all those stuff, yeah? one by one. Yeah? Next video, we will talk about the self-induction. What this might cause or what, this, what the effect of self-induction is then. What we can observe. Yeah? Next video. But this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.